So today we are going to test the many dice that Emma owns. I own and a you couple. You own some. I own a couple. So we're doing science today, guys. Science. Uh, science. I um, apologize in advance. I was never very good at science in school. Uh, so we're gonna do the best that we can. We have watched some other videos online and read some things online to do this correctly. Hopefully. In other words, Emma has read something. I read things he watched. And things. I watched some videos. Um, that being said, we are going to test the balance of our die uh, using a salinity test. So basically you put it in a glass of water that's been incorporated with a lot of salt. Um, your dice float and when you spin them, if they come up with different numbers each time, then it's probably pretty balanced. So what I have watched yeah. was you can use salt. Mm -hmm. It's recommended to use Epsom salt. Yep. But I actually saw someone today who used sugar. I have a problem with doing a salinity test with sugar. Anyway, let's get down to it. We have a whole lot more dice than we're probably going to have time to get through, but know that I'm going to end up doing all of them because I'm crazy. A little bit. A little bit. So, do we have a dice that we want to start with? Um, why don't we start with your dice? I'm going to pull my dice aside because I want to test I'm mine. I'm going to do this also. one first. Are you doing a d20 first? Yeah, I'm going to do a d20 first. Okay. So, I just put it in the you water. You just drop it in. You don't need to be nice about it. Okay, so the first number we have is a 14. Let's roll it. That's a four. Okay, let's roll again. That's a five yep. or an 18. Let's go one more time. And that's a two. All right. That's a pretty well balanced die. Pretty right? balanced. So apparently what you can do is you can uh, spin it a certain number of times, record all those, and then uh, you actually can like do more math if you want to do more math about it and determine what the average roll of your die is. That is not what I want to do. Okay. So we're not going to do that today. Instead, we're going to just keep testing some more dice. So, so far we have one good one. All right. Uh, I'm going to test all my tw 20s. I think. Test all your 20s. We'll be oh, here no, for no, no. We'll be here for an hour. So let me test something else. Let me actually test one of the game science dice. So this is a D8. Okay. This, These are supposed to be very well balanced dice. Okay. Six. So that's a six. Seven. Seven. Okay. For a second I thought it was going to come up on the corner. That's a one again. Oh, another one. Uh-oh. Maybe you're not spinning it. Do you want to try? Let me see. Wait, I feel like I'm not spinning it. I keep hitting the, the, the edge. One. Uh oh, uh oh, game science. What are we doing wrong? Six and one. I like sixes. That's another six. Uh, Is it not spinning? I'm wondering if it's not spinning. Do you want to you want to? Oh, no, it's, it's spinning? spinning. Come on, look at this. Like, I'm... Stop. Flashing, though. I feel like I'm spinning. You're getting fives. See, even if I slightly touch it, mm -hmm. it's a six. That's not very balanced. All right. So I would. Say I don't that know. That's Let's try another here. Potentially not. Balanced. What was it? A D10? Yeah. Let's try this D10. Oh no, it was a D8. This so, is a D10. Let's. Okay. This is so. What's okay. that? A uh, nine. I think. Nine. Seven. Seven. Two. Four. Okay. I'm going to say that's good. All right, let's grab a D10 and see what we have going on here. That, you sure that was a 10? This was a 10, the other okay. one was an 8. So this is the other great game size 8. I want to try a different 10. I'm wondering actually um, if it has to do with the... Um, you're just banging them down. Well, th these are harder to spin. You know, like, it's... I think part of this has to do with the fact that it's, like, hard to really get a good spin on it. So that's a four. Six. I was an eight. Two. Five. All right, so that one seems to be... Better. Much better. Two. Okay. I'm gonna say it's probably Six. okay. All right, I want to grab a ten. Another ten? Yeah, a non-game science ten. Oh, okay. 
That's not. That's a twelve. That's here. a twelve. Where a ten or an eight? The eight was the one that wasn't looking good. So this is an eight right here. Oh, the eight wasn't. I thought you said the the, the eight wasn't good. Okay. Ow. So let's see this one. Four. Nope. Three. Two. Four. It might be helpful to have a bigger cup. One. This one seems to be fine. Okay, so maybe it was just that one. Let's try it again, science, one more time. Oh, that says two. Did we get a couple twos yeah. in a row? Four. four. I feel like it's just twos and fours. We should be writing this down. Oh, no. I'm splashing everywhere. Stop splashing. You're going to have to clean up all nope. of the Twos and fours. Right? Okay. Twos and fours. Uh, here, let me try my game science D8. So we have a three. We have a three. It's really hard to see yours in the water because they're clear. We have an eight. Okay. Is that an eight? I think so. I'm going to say yes. Six. Four. That seems pretty balanced. Four. Maybe not. Three. Eight. Uh, I don't know. Uh, hey, I want to try the rest of my games. I want to try to do 20. Okay. So, what is that, a six? Uh-huh. Six. <laughs> Let's try one of my D20, my game science D20s after this. Seven. Just so it's easier to see. I think it's really sure. hard to see. In the, in the, um, Seven. Ah, oh, this isn't looking good. Four, but it's so close to seven. Se no, this is not. I mean, that's a, a clear spin, right? Oh, well, it's clear. All right, eighteen. Maybe they're all right. Go ahead. What do you want to go for? Uh, I am going to go for my game science blue. Uh, D20, and actually, maybe not, because this one's hard to read. The letters have been coming off on it. So, I don't see my purple one. Maybe I took a one. Oh, there it is. So, that's a two. That's a, not a two, or is that a two? I can't tell. That's a six. <laughs> Sorry! That's another six. That's a 13. That's a 20 or a 2. Mmm. That's an 8. I can't tell because there's a water bubble on top of it. So I'm going to say maybe not as well balanced as they are made out to be. <laughs> I love that we just can't, we have all these dice that have weird colors on them. Uh, 11. 13. Very close to 11. 11. <laughs> so what I've heard, this is probably not very exciting for you guys to watch us test all of our dice. So let's talk about it for a second. Okay. So the things that I've read online is that actually the clear ones are apparently are supposed to be better balanced because they're only made out of one material. And the way that they're made, traditionally, it means that there's no, there's less opportunity for uh, impurities to get in there, especially okay. if it's clear, because there aren't going to be heavier pieces of plastic or bubbles or anything like that. Whereas the ones that are the two-tone colors, like some of the dice that I have, they're made out of two, potentially two different kinds of plastics. So it's easier for those to potentially end up to have um, weighting one way or another because different plastic densities get mixed together to make it. And because it's not like a straight half and half mix because they're trying to make cool designs, it's much easier for them to become poorly weighted to okay. one side or another. So that's what I had read online. They also said it doesn't really matter all that much. I mean, if you have a die that consistently rolls well, you might just not want to tell anyone that it can just see well as well and save it for special occasions. I don't know. Also, we did not test any metal dice today. No. Um, it would take a lot more water and salt to make a metal die float. It's possible. We just didn't do it here today. I want to test a D6 and a D4. Okay. So let's see if it's six. 
looks like because we've tested the, the 20s and the 10s. Yeah, sure. So we have a 3, a 5, another 5, 3, maybe because I don't, I don't understand. I wonder if it's there's a particular way that you're supposed to to spin them so that it gets a full like spin in. I don't know if it could be user error. Maybe. Fives. That's I'm getting a lot of fives. You're getting a lot of what? Let's do a four. So we have a two, three, four t showing. Mm -hmm. Uh, what is that? What number is? One, the two, four. Okay. Really? What number? The one was facing down? No, I'm just going to read the top. There's no down. Okay. Well, uh, two, three, four. Yeah, I feel like it's just not spinning. One, three, four. You got the same. I'm reversing it. But there's only how many sides on the D4? Right. But that was a joke. <laughs> um, so maybe we just need a bigger cup. But. We now know what to do. It's true. Uh, I would say perhaps do this in a place where you don't mind getting things messy because we're gonna have salt rings everywhere after this is over. Uh, and did we really learn anything potentially about it? Maybe I should do the rest of my D20s and decide yes. which are my favorites. That's what I've learned. It's a good call. Yeah, I'm not gonna tell you which are my favorites. The ones that you're using are your favorites. If I'm behind the GM screen, how are you going to know? Fair enough, fair enough. All right, guys, that was our science experiment today. Science! I don't know if um, we failed. I think I'm not a very good scientist, but at least I tried. And trying is all that matters. Hey, it is. You just said it. I, just said I thought it. you were being mean. I am. All right. Anyway, uh, I think that's going to be it for today, guys. Test your dice. Yeah. Let us know what you think. Tell us Are how they we did balanced? This wrong. What did we do wrong? I'm sure there is a plethora of plethora things thing. that we did wrong. I'd love to hear about it. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Hope you had a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll talk to you next time. Bye, guys.